What is going on guys? It is your boy Sister here, bringing you guys a thumbnail designing tutorial here today calling Clean Gaming Thumbnails. Uh, right away, you don't have to be so direct with this. I know it says gaming in it, and I know I have like two separate audiences on my channel. I have like the gaming community, like a ga like a like a gaming design community, and then I have like just people who want to know about graphic design or just like, like subscribe to me because some one of my videos, right? You can have those two things, or if you're just looking for thumbnails, just because I have thumb in my title, right? Uh, thumbnail in my title. Whatever, you have to be so direct with this. I can break it down to like three parts for you guys. You have like a really cool title, you can have your background. And then you have your basically a cool little pop out of something, right? Let's say if your channel was like, uh, like vlogging or whatever, right? Like you, you can have like a screenshot of something like really epic in the background, like something that just happened, and like you want to screenshot it. You can have that as your background. You can have your pop out. Usually your pop out, I'd say, would correspond to what you have in your title. Right now, mine's just an example. So I have title gameplay goes here, right? Whatever. I have a gun here. It's pretty easy with gameplays and stuff, um, because you can have like just the game in the background, like a cool screenshot from the game, and then you can have like. I don't know, like, M9 gameplay, you have, like, an M9 gun, right? That's, like, gaming-wise. But if you're, like, a person of, like, you know, different, you know, community or something like that, if you want to do, like, um, your title says, I got a new car or I got a new mic or something, have, like, the cars to pop out, and everything goes whatever, right? It looks really, really good. And if you follow my directions today, you can find out how to make something just like this. If you're one of, like, these guys, I feel sorry, but I'm here to save you. I got you. All right, so the two things you're only going to need is obviously the background picture, right? I just typed in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. I got the search. I found a search options and clicked on search for size above four megapixels, which basically gives me an HD picture. Please, if you are a gaming, like like a gaming channel or something like that, or for whatever, you, you want to have your quality looking good in your thumbnail. So find a picture that's HD, whatever you're doing, please find a picture or take a picture that's HD. Right, we got that going on. So I just sized it a little bit, scaled it up just so I can get rid of that like sign over here. And with that, I had a pop out of a gun. I just typed in pop out gun, Black Ops 3, got this. I don't even know if it's from Black Ops 3. I don't even know if it's from Call of Duty. It's pretty sure from Call of Duty. Anyway, right, we got that there. And that's the only two things I'm really going to need. So pretty much we're set in stone with that. If you guys have that, you're ready to go. So don't forget, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. And I'm actually on spring break right now. This Friday, I should be on spring break. I should be like coming home right now to look at some comments and comment down some little stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I love that. I love looking at the comments. I love you guys being so positive. I really, really appreciate it for 51K. We hit like, I think two days ago. Um, Thank you guys so much. We're just growing so fast. So, and you guys see that I'm trying. It's I, it's a very rewarding feeling. I'm very happy. I'm very positive. You guys make me so productive. I love it. I love all of you guys. All right, that's enough mushy stuff, right? Let's get going on today's video. By the way, I want to show you guys in different colors, right? This is blue. And this is like a really nice green. So it works for a lot of colors. I just use students, students at hue and saturation to change it. That was like so hard for me to, to like say just now. Um, I just use hue and saturation for the like, like usually if you if you do this with like color that's so vibrant, you get messy colors. Like if I try to flip through some of these other colors, they're probably like really messy. Like look at that, it looks really disgusting and messy. So if when you want to go for your color, yes, you can try hue and saturation or you can try a gradient change with like, or a color change, like color, um solid color change with like just changing it to like color this thing right here um but right now I'm making sure you guys know if you have a color in mind stick with it the entire way or why otherwise you have to start over because that's just that's to be honest right all right so to get started of course I have a black background so she's my color to something else really quickly and you want to just go to your foreground color and for the black background I love to use the preset 171717 17, 17 for a black right I press okay on my foreground color which is this right here I press okay it changes, I can just go in my background layer and press Alt backspace for the quick fill, the quick shortcut to quick fill it in. And basically I'm ready to throw in my picture, which is my gameplay picture. And right here, it's right here, right? I scaled it already. I'm just gonna change it from normal to luminosity layer style. And then with this, I'm gonna go ahead and actually make my pic, uh, my background dark. So for this to really work, to really make it look like, uh, not like this, to make it look like this, really f like, pure just really nice nice and clean you want your background to be set in stone and ready to be like designed on right so for this right away i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna get rid of some of this depth right you can see that there's more darker colors here or like more depth here you can see that this is obviously a shadow um i'm gonna get rid of that with uh just using exposure we're gonna go our, uh, our adjustment layers right here and we're gonna change our offset right away in the middle just up just a little bit you can see already it gets flat right you can see the difference right this is more like depth wise, this is more flat. This is what I want. I'm gonna change my gamma correction just a little bit as well actually. Put this up. 
Um, this is all depending on what your picture looks like. Like, different games have different color schemes. Sorry, my dog. Different games have different color schemes, so whatever works for you. Like, I don't know, you, you probably have to, like, figure it out. But, like, if your things looks like this, that's too dark. If you're, like, up here, it's obviously too light. So just find that middle zone, and you'll be able to see. Be like, all right, this looks somewhat correct, somewhat where he had on his. So pretty much that works for me. I'm actually going to go to my Adjustments tab and go to Brightness and Contrast this time. And we're going to lower our brightness, and we're going to up our contrast, just like so. And, like, this. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna lower my brightness to my left, so I'm obviously in the, be in the negative. I'm gonna be in the negative, and for my contrast, I'm gonna put this up. So I'm gonna say negative 85 is a pretty good place to start. This is gonna be dark. This is the whole the whole point of this to make it look dark, but not lose like the detail in the picture. You kind of want to just have something floating in the background, um, just to be there, kind of really. And then for my contrast, 60 is pretty good. So we're, right now we have a really dark um backgrounds what i wanted right but to get the color it's actually uh, what's one of my hardest things was like struggled to, uh struggled with my previous thumbnail designs i like it was very random where i put my light and like how to like actually make my light look good so to do that i fixed it by just using an actual gradient map in the background so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go ahead go to my adjustments tab go to gradient map and we're just gonna change this to a basically the, the first one is gonna be black solid black just like so Pretty much just like that right the second little knob here we're gonna double click on it to open it and we're gonna go to a blue i'll say like here and we're gonna leave it we can leave it in like the most vibrant like blue right the most like top right like where that circle is right you want to leave it somewhere around there um any darker will just play it just look really dull so you want to have a nice vibrant color you want to obviously make it you want to make it look blue so it, it needs to be vibrant um this is a pretty good blue right here i'm going to use this blue actually press ok and okay again this is uh, this is of course if you're using blue but if you're not using blue um just find a color that's somewhere like of course it's not that hard actually just find a color that's somewhere up here um like high contrast or high saturation right nothing down here up here okay and then once you've done that press okay and then pretty much you're ready to go this is like the start of the background so we went from this to that or this to this which is like we made everything dark and actually flatten the image out as well and then put color on the background just a solid color and it looks good so now i want to do is i'm gonna use my pop out gun and we're gonna start fixing this so pretty much when you're doing some kind of pop out something you want to either have it on the left which it can be like flipped or something like that if you're using a gun like this it can be on the left which looks really odd or whatever right but it's whatever you can use it on the left or the right just so you can have space because you want to have space for your text and you want to make sure your text is not like overlapping or like you know it, it will look sloppy to me in all honesty look it'll it will look sloppy so find a corner pick on it and then just stay with it all right so we're gonna make a new layer below the gun or below your pop out so control shift and to make a new layer press ok or you can just press this little page this new page down here and then pretty much you can just go ahead and use your brush a soft brush will work if you cannot see your brush it's probably because you have cap locks on just turn it off all right and i'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger with control alt right clicking moving it left and right to make your diameter bigger up and down is hardness and then pretty much <clears throat> i will say i don't know like 500 400 pretty good size uh brush right here so i'm just gonna change my color of course to a blue and we're gonna use like this blue we'll press ok and what i'm gonna do really quickly is i'm just gonna like do a simple outline around the gun just like that nothing crazy this should not be that hard I actually need my eraser a little bit and actually kind of like detone it just a little bit. I kind of went too far out, but that's fine. Whatever, right? Just fix it with the eraser. This is good. Perfect. Nothing crazy. It should not be. This should not be the hardest part of the design. Pretty much. I'm going to double click on my layer where I, I'm going to use my pop out, right? So I'm going to open my layer styles. I'm going to put on a outer glow. I'm going to go to my size. I'm going to put this up here. And we're going to go to this little yellow thing, this little yellow color. And we're actually going to click on it. This is to change our color. And pretty much, I'm going to click this blue. So somewhere on the uh, canvas, uh, you can just basically select any color that's on the canvas. Just like so. I'm going to select this little blue. And I'm going to go up to the most vibrant blue I can get to. So all the way up to the top right. And I'm just going to change this to more almost like, I don't know. I can actually change this blue right here by actually using Control U. If you guys want to like change the color just like really quickly, like minor tweaks, Control U on the layer itself, you can actually change the color by just scrolling this thing right here, just like so. I kind of want a more darker blue, so that's what I'm going to use this for. Um, 
Uh, that that'll work. That will work. All right, sweet. So there's no adjustment layer that will be applied. It's just gonna be on the layer forever. And if you press Control U again, it'll just reset. It's just like you're changing it over again. So that's what I did just now. But I'm gonna go back to this right here. Up my sizes maybe a little bit more, right? And I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna put more layer size on this gun though. So I'm gonna actually put on a inner glow, which will basically help me like outline the gun a little bit more. I'm gonna change this to white though. Also, I'm gonna change my blend mode to overlay. And we're gonna go ahead and go to gradient, uh, gradient overlay. And we're gonna change our blend mode to overlay as well. Uh, simple black to white gradient, just like so, black to white, right? Press okay. Uh, overlay, just lower this down, the opacity uh, to about 40%, that's pretty good. And with this, I think you're pretty good. Actually, you can put a drop shadow on it as well. Just a little bit of a drop shadow. You can leave it actually default 120 angle. I do have global light on, I'm just gonna uncheck that. Uh, just whatever, right? A little, maybe a little bit more size. And maybe a little more spread. That'll look pretty good. So I'm looking right here, by the way. You can see that right there. If you look where I just pointed, right there. A um, little bit of drop shadow, right? Looks pretty good. You can press OK, and you're pretty much done with that. So, before I actually uh, actually apply another uh, brightness of conscious, I'm going to be doing that in a second. Before I do that, I'll make a new layer above my gun. And I'm just going to use this blue. Just like so. I'm just going to use this blue. I'm going to click over. Actually, not so vibrant. I'm gonna use like a, a some same blue kind of like same um same like hue right here. I'm gonna lower my saturation a bit, or I'm gonna lower my I guess my tone right. Uh, press OK. We'll click right right there, and I'll use a darker blue and like click on the same layer. It doesn't really matter. Same layer. Just click on my gun a little bit. And I'm gonna change this from normal to linear dodge add, and this way I'm gonna get a little bit of color on my gun actually, and it looks pretty good. Just like so, nothing crazy going on. That looks fine. I can fix it a little bit if I want to. Um, so I'll leave it like that. It's fine. Just a little bit of color on the gun for right now, right? And I know it doesn't look really amusing right now. It's probably because you want more contrast. Probably looking for this really nice high contrast look. To do that, brightness and contrast. Just some Slayer, brightness and contrast right above everything you've done so far. Um, uh, we'll just go ahead and like this. Lower our brightness just a little bit, not too much. I think negative, negative 20 will be good. And then our contrast is bring this up, right? Now we're starting to get this really nice, like really dark, high contrast, really nice colors coming out of this now. Um, maybe a little bit higher actually, negative 10. That'll look pretty good. Um, maybe the gradient map color can change as well. Maybe to like a lighter color. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Press OK. All right, sweet. So I just changed a little thing. It's just a little bit of stuff. So brightness contrast is now applied. As you can see now, this is very dull or whatever. I'm actually going to put... Maybe I can put a uh, brightness and contrast on the gun itself. So I'm going to go back to my layer style, or my uh, adjustments layer. Brightness and contrast. Clipping mask this on. Uh, so basically, you want to click, click on your pop out. Go to your brightness and contrast. Clipping mask it. That way, it only applies to this layer that's below it, which is the gun pop out. And I'm going to make my gun just a little bit more cooler, right? Um, there we go. Lower my brightness a little bit. Up my contrast a lot. We gotta look our, make our gun look a little bit better. And below our brightness and contrast... I'm gonna put a gradient map. So I'm just gonna go my go to my gradient map and pretty much just like apply it like just like so how I did before. I just dragged it below my brightness and contrast. It's only still applied to the gun. And I'm gonna go to my black and white here. I'm just gonna lower my pass just a little bit. I just don't want so much color coming out from the color of the gun, like this orange or whatever. I want it to be like, you know, controlled a little bit. So I'm just gonna lower my pass just a little bit. I'll keep it at like 45 just to keep it nice, right? Alright, so pretty much we're almost done. We're going to actually set apply like the uh, title now. So I'm actually going to put in some text. I'm going to erase this stuff so it doesn't bother you guys. Um, title. So I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put title. And I'm actually going to be using this font for the middle one though. So title. Uh, there's like three good fonts that I can like refer you guys to. Kenyan Coffee. Um, actually I'll put them in the description down below. If I didn't, please remind me in the comments section that I didn't do it. Um, Kenyan Coffee is a pretty good one. Montrack, I think it's called. Uh, Montrack, this one right here is pretty good. Um, uh, per, what is this called? A prototype, maybe? Yeah, Prototype is a pretty good one as well. Uh, that's pretty good right now, for right now. So I'm gonna just use Kenny Coffee for like the subtitles or the subtext. And then for the main text, which is gonna be gameplay in my opinion, if like your main text probably be in the begin uh, in the middle. Let me explain that for a second. Um, title is like really, really important, right? Of course, you want to actually have an appealing title to, of course, for your audience and stuff. So right now, my title is going to be the, or it would be like, let's just say it was like, uh, what am I trying to think of? Like, 
new I, I I got a new mic, right? So you can put like I uh, new, and then you can have like mic being the like the really flashy word in the middle, and then I would that doesn't really make sense because I only got like I got a new mic, or I got a new mic, or new mic. You know what I'm trying to? Say? I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? So right now my my title. My focus is going to be this middle one right here. So the gameplay is going to be what it's going to be, right? So it goes here. I just lower this down a little bit. It doesn't have to be the same size. Title can be shrinked a little bit as well. Um, if you guys really didn't get what I said, because I'm just like thinking like, what the hell did I just say like five seconds ago? Right now, the word gameplay is going to be like the word that I want everyone to see, right? That'll be my middle word. I think having like three rows of text is really good just because it fills more space. I love filling space because it feels, it, it, I feel like if you don't fill your space, it looks unfinished and I don't like that look. So gameplay right now is gonna be like my main cool word. That's gonna be like the, the word I want everyone to see. So if you don't have three rows of title, that's fine. If you have two rows, make that bottom word be like that, the whole point of the video, right? So I'm gonna change this to hi, this one. Oh, not that one. This one to hi. Uh, high jinx or high jinx right i think that's how you say it um jinx right yeah it should be it <laughs> is a pretty good uh, font for like the focus font for like that really cool dope font that you want everyone to like see and like and like just like be like yo this is what the video is about right and the reason why i'm moving this stuff really quick i'm actually gonna make this look pretty cool so i'm gonna make a new layer really quickly right above our gameplay i'm gonna use the m marquee tool which is a rectangle marquee tool and i'm gonna go ahead and just basically draw a rectangle around the word gameplay Fill it in with uh, black, it doesn't really matter, blue or whatever. And I'm actually gonna hold control. I'm gonna put this above so you can see. The word gameplay is like perfectly in the middle of the box, or you know, not perfectly, but it's in the middle of the box, um, relatively. I'm gonna hold control, click on the thumbnail of the word gameplay, or whatever the word is, your middle word, or your your really your, your title word basically. Uh, click on that thumbnail, press delete on your keyboard while selected on that little rectangle you just made. You can now get rid of the eye of the gameplay. And now you have a really cool cutout, just like so. It looks pretty dope. Um, I can shrink this just a little bit. And I can also cut this just a little bit as well. Uh, just cut that a little bit. So, what this is basically doing is I have a pretty wacky font, but to control it a little bit, I'm going to put it in this very, you know, geometric shape. So, like a rectangle in this instance. And it looks pretty good. So, I can go back to, like, move my title relatively close to here. And I'm relatively close to here as well. Title goes here. The word gameplay can actually change. Uh, the word or the box itself can change colors a little bit to like that. Oh, I changed the wrong one. Double click on that. Boom. I don't know. So more of a vibrant blue. That looks pretty good. Sweet. So with this, I can delete that. And basically, this is all my tech stuff, right? This entire thing. I'm actually going to group this. Actually, I'm going to move this over before I do that. All right, there we go. It's, it's relatively in the middle, right? I'm going to hold shift, click on all this stuff right here. So basically click on the first word of your title and click on like, the last stuff in your title, right? Control G to group it together, control J to duplicate it, and then hold, while still holding control, control E to merge it all together. So basically we have like a backup here. We don't really want that one right now. We want this, which is going to allow us to actually go ahead and press control T again, or not, con not to control T again, but press control T to bring up the free transform box, right click on it, and then go to perspective. And with perspective, you can just take a corner. I'm gonna move my mouse just up a little bit, not too much. When you're doing this, the reason why you couldn't do this really quickly, I'll show you guys. The reason why I had to combine it all, because you can't do this uh, without having like either a rasterized layer or having just only a title. But we have both rasterized and a title, it wouldn't work like that, so I had to merge it all together. So that's why I have this group doing this, because um, I can't do it on that other group that we have grouped up. This is our, this is just our backup. We have to go back to it, right? This will be our like main thing we're working with right now. So Control T. Right click perspective, move this up a little bit. Now with this, if you move it too much, you start getting these really these really odd pixel blurs or these like, it kind of messes up your pixels a lot. So don't do it so much, but just a little bit. Uh, just so move it just a little bit up and then you can take your right corner and just move it to the right. And you get this really cool angle. It looks pretty nice, just like so. And I'm gonna move that right there. And then pretty much I'm almost done. Above this, I'm gonna put a cool, like a nice blue, uh, just like so clipped like right a nice little hit of blue soft brush hit it right there I need to put like on linear uh, linear light or linear dodge add I think linear light looks pretty good in this instance right now um, And then for this you're basically almost done. This is optional want to make a new layer, right? You can make a new layer 
use a soft brush, make a pretty big brush, right? That's pretty like, like a good like half size of like your canvas really. And then use white or just make a focus line on the top basically. You guys know if you guys watch my videos a lot, you can just do this little light thing right on the top with a pretty good sized brush. And you can either do this or not do this. I'm gonna lower my passage down to like 65 or so. But either this can look good to you, which looks pretty good. I think it sets the entire banner, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the entire thumbnail off. Or we can keep it like this. Really doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, that's whatever. But I'm gonna add one more brightness and contrast now. So with this, I'm actually gonna put my brightness up and my contrast also up. And this will give you that really, really heavy like light source that like really cool look that you probably want and what you were looking for from the beginning um leaving it in the middle or going back down will actually make it look really dull leaving it in the middle kind of like it'll be whatever you can say like you like this but if you want that really really heavy tone bring your brightness up and your contrast also uh, also up for this last brightness and contrast and it'll give you that really good look you're possibly looking for and let's say if you want to work with two colors maybe uh you can use hue and saturation right just for now you can just do this uh, let's say we wanted like a really cool, um, maybe we want a green and blue, just to, like be dramatic right now, right? If you clicked on this little white thumbnail and you clicked on your eraser, you can get two different tones of color just by clicking on your eraser and racing around just a little bit. You can see it's getting erased right there and you get two different tones of colors. So you can actually choose two different colors if you wanted to for your background or your thumbnail. So this is basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I explained it enough. Um, I really like how this style comes out. Um, overall, it's just a very simple, cool little thing to do. And it's like a really, like I said, yeah, of course you don't have to like pinpoint it only to gaming. Um, but it looks awesome all around. So like I said, don't forget guys, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. You should not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SissoHQ for any pre-made packs as low as five bucks. Also follow me on Twitter at SissoHQ if you have yet already. And also please subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget, like I said, leave a like, uh, comment down any, like anything you below, anything you want to see, any questions you have, I'll try to reply to them or other people will go reply to them. I see that a lot as well. Thank you guys for that as well. Cause since I can't get to them, like not all of them, of course. Um, thank you guys for replying also some some of those as well Um, and I hope you guys also I didn't say I don't think if I said it already But if I didn't spring break starts with me on Friday and if your start anytime soon Please let me know because I, I want to like stream just a little bit like here and there do like some cool like report reviews or something like that Um, so please let me get let me know this. Thank you guys so much for watching talk to you guys later. This is HQ out. Peace